Hello guys, here is a tutorial on how to sculpt human head. Now the human face is probably one of the uh, most complex shapes that you know artists uh, have to be able to do and uh, it's also quite challenging for beginners to <clears throat> really try to get a nice result because uh, it takes a lot of time to practice and there is no easier way around I guess um, but um, either way I think a good workflow would be really helpful so uh, this time I'm gonna do the uh, actress uh, Ruby Rose okay uh, the reason I choose her is because uh, I think she has nice structures on the cheekbone and the chin and everything else and she has a very unique uh, overall head shape so that's why I choose her um, but uh, my goal is not uh, sculpting a character that looks exactly like her uh, like what I mentioned before I'm not a printer okay and I'm making the uh, you know I make uh, the character looks as possible as uh, you know um, exactly like uh, the uh, reference is never my goal you know um, but you know it would be nice to try so I will always try but I don't really set that as my goal okay anyway and um, so let's uh, start um, so I will start with a bow again okay drag a bow here and press T button <coughs> now the material <clears throat> has to be changed to something easier to read so I'm I'm gonna choose uh, the basic material but you can go for others like maybe a little bit reflection there or faster uh, fast shader or skin shader um, but I think the uh, basic material gives a uh, nice shading, so I'm gonna choose this one. Okay, and I'll make poly mesh 3D, and then go to geometry, dana mesh, and then dana mesh it with 32 resolution, so I can work on a very simple geometry. Okay, <clears throat> so let me drag uh, the uh, face down and try to figure out. Uh, the proper proportion. Mm, by proportion here, what I mean is the uh, length and the width of uh, the entire head. Okay. Now let me use the uh, clip curve to <laughs> to cut uh, the side off, and then use edge polish here to polish. Uh, the bottom uh, chin. I think her face is is really long and thin for some reason, which is kind of interesting. Okay, uh, right now I'm just uh, going through other images I can uh, look for, maybe find a better uh, frontal image. Okay, so the chin is really thin trying to capture that and then uh, maybe here is where the cheekbone is and uh, her upper head is actually bigger so the entire face if you look at it here it's, it's just getting bigger and bigger okay so find those uh, unique parts or you know interesting characteristics is really helpful to capture the characteristic Okay. So right now what I'm doing is just trying to um, find out the big uh, transitions. So here is where the jaw is. Okay. And the chin. Okay. The uh, cheekbone. Okay, and other stuff. Let me just try to find out where the eye socket is. Now you want to go to different angles, like for example this angle. Oh, I think I forget to do perspective. So let me press P to turn that on. Okay, uh, to me perspective is really important because it's gonna look really different if you don't have that um, in Maya. 
because now I have perspective and you can tweak perspective by going to the draw and change the angle view to something smaller or bigger the smaller the value is uh, the lesser perspective you will end up with uh, although none of those are really accurate like what I mentioned before ZBrush um, cannot really uh, give you the accurate perspective because it's a uh, 2.5D okay just trying to figure out the right proportion okay right proportion right general shape at this time uh, in this process uh, all you are thinking about is the big shapes uh, so don't worry about any detail uh, I think having a very low resolution is also helping you, uh, stopping you from trying to do detail because there's just not enough topology to support that. Okay. Oh, got some information. Let's see. Okay. No big deal. All right. Cheekbone, I think her cheekbone is really visible. Okay. Before I move on to more detailed stuff, let me clip that in so I can have a nice plan to you know drag out the uh, neck. Over that and drag it down. Oops, have to do something. Uh, let me pause it for a little bit. Okay, uh, be back real soon. Okay, I'm back. I have some business to talk with uh, my parents. Okay, but anyway, um, so um, th this is the neck. I think her neck is not really that long, but cuts thin to. So I'm gonna just uh, you know draw some strokes to make it thinner. One interesting thing about uh, 3D is that a lot of content creation are related to artistic stuff, you know. And uh, if you're from some traditional uh, painting background, uh, that's gonna be really interesting trying to apply the things you have learned uh, back to a in a digital content and um, I know that's really exciting to me um, uh, because it's finally uh, you got something you know more flexible than traditional ways because you have control Z's you have you know all those interesting tools and to you know do stuff uh, but anyway uh, let me just uh, draw some strokes to give me some body you know uh, that way I can have a better feel of the uh, entire structure so something like this doesn't have to be doesn't have to be real big okay like this should be good enough no I guess I smooth that too much Anyway, that's not the focus here today. <laughs> so, just something. Uh, the clavicle. Okay. So let's go back to the face. Uh, one more thing I always try to do at the very beginning is where the ear is. I'm just gonna. Let me do that again. Okay, just uh, mask that and control click to reverse the mask. Uh, press W to go to transpose to draw a line uh, like that. Okay, and then drag the middle circle out. You can hold down shift to make it straight. Of course, the ear has to be leaning back. So just drag the tissues back uh, like that. You know, so it should look like this as at the top. It should be curved from the side. But depending on different people, they may have this kind of size or that kind of size. You know, so you want to really look at it. Uh, I think she is having a pointy kind of ear. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this up. Okay, 
and then just clear the mask by holding down Control and drag, Control and drag again to uh, dynamash it, and then maybe just give it some, uh, you know, hole there, and some uh, going in structure to uh, have the basic uh, shape for the ear. And right now, I'm not worrying about what's inside because I have, I don't have enough topology to deal with that. Uh, so what I'm trying to do here is just the general shape of the ear should be longer. Okay, so now I have laid out the important things. Not quite sure if they are correct. I'm never really sure if I'm getting things correct because I never uh, really tried to have image plans to match them. You know, just because I think uh, every time it would, be, it would be better to try to use your eye instead of using uh, any, uh, you know, reference image plans to help you get the correct shape. Because that way you're not practicing your eye. And uh, I think that's really important because at some point you will start designing stuff. And when you're designing, you don't have. Uh, you you have to be able to uh, have a better sensation of you know is this shape looks good or bad. I think that's really important to practice your eye to judge stuff. Um, okay. Anyway, so the next step is. Um, after you have figured out the important landmarks on the face, okay, those landmarks you want to, oh, of course, that one too. Uh, you want to start marking out where the uh, ear, eye, and nose is. So let me go grab uh, the middle part and use a uh, clay build up to build up the ear, uh, sorry, the uh, nose, like this. No, I don't really care if I'm getting the detail at all. All I'm doing is just have the ear shape there, uh, the <laughs> nose shape there. What's wrong with those two words? Okay, just have the nose shape there. Okay. Now, in traditional painting, what people try to analyze the nose is actually quite interesting. So, what they do is just the bottom face as one face, the side faces, and then the front face. Just three faces or four faces like a cube and that's the the nose and then when they're drawing the nose nostrils they make uh, the entire bottom of the nose um, uh, they treat that as the bottom face so that entire area that entire area is darker and nostrils is not re really that dark you know just to try to maintain the big shape instead of trying to create those two holes the structure of those two holes is less important than the entire bottom face. Okay, I see what I'm trying to do here is the tip, okay, and then the side. Let's so lay out the basic structure like that. You can go higher resolution if you don't really like, you know, the way I'm doing here with, you know, very uh, blocky uh, some different level. It just works better for me because uh, uh, that prevent me from trying to do detail and also uh, easier to control. Uh, because there are lesser geometry. Anyway, uh, so let's go for the mass. I think her mass is also quite interesting. It's pretty big, okay? It's pretty big, and but the jaw is pretty small, so there is a big contrast there. So let me go, uh, first of all, drag out where the uh, lip is, uh, or the, the line between those two uh, lips is, okay? I'm gonna try to use my brush to mark out the top of the lip and then another one for the bottom of the lip. Uh, so the bottom lip is super big. Okay. Now right now you see I'm not really worried about am I getting the nice shape, is it good enough, you know, all those kind of stuff. All I'm doing here is have the big shape. So let me just uh, draw some strokes, you know, to push things around to get the shape I need for the mouse. Okay. So you never really worry about uh, or worry too much about it. It looks nice at the very beginning because 
what I'm really concerning is where things are, how big they are, and their relationship with other structures. So don't really care if they looks good enough yet. Okay. So that is the, uh, the mouse, and for the eye, uh, oftentimes I try to have an eyeball, but you can also just you know draw that out, figure out the location. Before that, you know it's all up to you. Uh, uh, oh, one more thing is that you want to go to is that you want to go to you know side view, so make sure that it looks okay from the side view. I always forget that, so I. I I scuffed it very, very carefully in the front, but I don't see how the side view looks like. That's uh, something I, I kind of always forget to do, but I always can fix it after a little while. I just I think it would be better to actually take care of that all the time. Anyway, so so by looking at it again, I think she has a huge, huge. Uh, Brain, or is this a camera angle or something? I, I don't know. Just just big somehow. So I'm trying to make that big too. Like here, maybe it can be higher too. So I just feel this area here is really big. Maybe it's the hair cut, hair cut or something. Just <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just just trying to. You know, mimic what's happening here, uh, what's happening there. Okay. The cheekbone is also really big, but it's getting thinner dramatically towards the chin. Uh, here it's going in a little, I think. See, well, even when I'm trying to figure out where the other things are, I'm still trying to fix big shapes if they're not proper because I know that uh, I'm not really that good that I can do one thing 100% correct no one can okay so you want it to be cautious and you know try to fix it uh, many times until it's getting better and better all right, so I think those are the basic landmarks and uh, you know basic positions for eye, nose, ear, and mouth. You see, I don't have any detail at all; just the basic shape. Now let's move on to do some basic uh, some detail. So let's change uh, change the uh, resolution to something higher. Uh, sixty eight would be nice. Oh, sixty four actually. So I'm just doubling my uh the resolution and then I mesh it again so that will give you a, um, a higher resolution model and then I can start working on stuff um, first, in, first thing first I want to give uh, her a uh, decent eye so let's go to sub 2 and then apply a or append a sphere okay now with that sphere selected uh, by holding down alt and click on it and then uh, let's go uh, use move to. Oh, sorry, use uh, scale to, and then just drag it down to make it smaller. Uh, you can turn on transparency to see the actual size inside of the head, and drag it to the proper location. Okay, so oftentimes I try to figure it out by, you know, find out where the corner of the mouth is, that's where the eye is. Um, but I think in this situation, I'd like to make the eye go in more because she has a really deep eye socket, I think. Uh, so those things are depending on different situations. The standard is a uh, good guideline, you're not gonna go um, uh, too far away from that, but I think different people are different. So it's better to do it differently every time based on the reference or the design you have. Anyway, so uh, let me mirror the eyeball, of course. Uh, so 
uh, Z plugin sub to master mirror okay that's gonna mirror it let's go back to the body and then I'm just gonna use uh, the damn stern art to poke some of the faces in and trying to figure out the corners or the edges of the eye again this stage is figuring out big shapes uh, so forget the symmetry if you want to get the symmetry back you can try to go to geometry and then uh, modify topology this is mirror and weld but it's gonna mirror the other side <laughs> okay so you want to flip it first so go to the deformation and then uh, you can mirror it first and then geometry uh, mirror and uh, well to you know mirror it it's not a big deal I can start over if I uh, don't really go that far away anyways so one of the things I found on her eye is that uh, she has a pretty big corner here but it's sharp too so I'm gonna mimic that here uh, going in okay the bottom eyelid and she has double eyelid too just to have some like that okay now sometimes you don't have to worry about too much like does it really looks like the character you know because you know that there's not not everything's done yet you know just making sure that you're not too concerned or you know always questioning yourself am I doing the right thing is it correct or not well it doesn't really help you know uh, just try to do what you see and eventually they will come back together uh, as one thing so don't worry too much too early and just be you know happy when you're sculpting enjoy the time right enjoy the uh, the, uh, the process I think it's much better than always questioning yourself you know different stuff uh, so okay so that's uh, some of the shapes uh, on the eye I think I got enough stuff there already so let me move on to the nose uh, first thing I noticed is seems like I make it too big here in the middle so let me just uh, make it go in a little like that and I think an, uh, another interesting characteristic of her nose is that uh, it's actually pretty big and at the bottom it's and it's pretty uh, straight so there are not very uh, not much variations in the middle especially that one it's, it's pretty clean or maybe uh, this one okay and uh, it's the side of the nose is pretty big too you know like that I think is uh, a better representation of her nose and then the hole underneath the nose okay now you don't need that much geometry to really do that shape to me it's just this is enough to represent that shape now the only difference is she uh, is smoother mine is just a uh, block here I guess but really there are big difference no it's just you know I can, I can smooth it later anytime I want Okay, let me drag that to the side. Okay, the mouse thing is a very important characteristic. So, let me draw some stroke to give it roundness because it's not a flat plan after all. Okay. The bottom lip is pretty huge, it's like super, super huge. So let me uh, draw that out. Maybe just, er, I think this line is really close. This bottom line is really close. Uh, if you uh, draw a line like this, you know, from the center of the uh, mouth or the, the seam of the uh, between the lips, and then to the bottom of the of the uh, chin. That line is almost in the middle, maybe just slightly lower. Uh, if, you, if you do this measurement here, you see this one is almost in the middle. So it's a pretty big lip at the bottom. So I want to do that here too. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Now you want to take care of the surroundings a little bit every time, but I think they are pretty flat. So you know a lot of shapes, anonymous shapes, you know, landmarks, uh, you know their names, uh, but when you're doing them, you want to make sure that there is a hierarchy. Right? So um, that means no matter how strong uh, this is, no matter how strong this muscle is, it's not going to be as strong as uh, the lip, right? It's just the smaller bumpiness underneath the lip doesn't have to be really big at all. Okay, so you always want to make sure the lip is the strongest uh, between those uh, structures. Okay, feels like I make the lower uh, face too thin. Anyway, uh, go up a little. You see, even in uh, in this stage, while I'm trying to do some uh, detail for the uh, mouth and you know nose and eye. I'm still trying to fix the big shapes, you know, and because they are important and because I know that I do have issues with them, I'm not accurate, I'm not a machine, right? I'm not a printer or a scanner, so uh, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you will fix them eventually or gradually, and even you cannot fix all the problems, that's also cool because, you know, we're trying to do a character. We're not trying to do exactly the same uh, the same person. Uh, so that is that, and uh, don't forget to have the ear also. You know, follow along because it's gonna be harder to take them when you have uh, a higher resolution. So let me just draw the Y shape here. Okay, I have it there. Again, there's no detail, just the you know the structure there and you know this one is rotating in and then you have a little thing blocking the hole here for the, 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 the ear and then that's the hole right? that's it <laughs> yeah I think her ear, the bottom of the ear is really thin going in uh, yeah that that's really small at bottom there okay so yeah, it's like that. It's bigger on the top. So you see, everyone have their characteristics. You want to capture that. Let me see. Uh, I think I make the forehead uh, too big because I think it was has to be big. So I think the back is too small now. So I'm uh, I'm gonna tweak that by dragging things around. Oh. Okay. I don't really know, or you know, I don't really know how her you know skull looks looks like, but I think it's pretty big. Okay, so that is that. So that's one pass uh, went through on the uh, the uh, the details. See, I'm I'm now having more stuff to work with, and the resolution is higher, and uh, I think that's that's actually my workflow already here. Everything is done, and if you just want to uh, want more detail, just keep repeating this process. Um, uh, the first step is go to the data mesh and then have a higher resolution. So uh, this time it's going to be one twenty-eight double that number, and then data mesh it. So you end up with a more subdivision level, and let's go to uh, do more detail. A very interesting feature of her eyes that thing is going down is the pointy uh, very sharp corner there okay I'm gonna enhance that and then for the eye I'm gonna push the bottom eyelid uh, the bottom of the bottom eyelid or what's below the bar of the uh, lower eyelid because it's supposed to be wrapping around the eyeball and uh, maybe that corner needs to go in a little uh, but here you don't want it to you don't want to put it in too much because there are uh, the structure where you produce your tears you know that little thing uh, takes some uh, volume or space so it's not all the way in it's it's kind of like supporting or 
pushing the corner of the eye out a little. So I'm gonna maybe later on I can draw that out. You know, something like this here. Uh, I don't think I, my resolution level is uh, that high yet. Okay, now double eyelid, of course. So let's draw that line here. Okay, like that. I think I can make her eye bigger. This feels like her eye is bigger, but you know, I'm not quite sure. Maybe we can see if that's correct by after scaling it. Okay. Oh, and refine the surroundings. I think this part is not that thick, so push it in a little. Okay. Now here, uh, from this picture, I see there are big volumes around the eye. I mean, tend to do that because mine is like not that much. Okay, so. Here, you know, let me give it more volume. Okay, smooth it a little. Cool. Okay, and then uh, here, let me just use my. Uh, Edge polish to just refine the shape there, and just gradually get rid of those uh, pixelated or you know blocky uh, geometry kind of noisy uh, effect. Smooth is easy. Smooth does nothing if uh, the shape there is not correct. Okay, so don't think. Don't rely on smooth that much. Uh, it's not gonna help you if your base shape is not correct. Okay. Uh, the bottom palette maybe it's stronger like that. Still feel her eye needs to be bigger. <laughs> maybe it's just a. Uh, Illusion, uh, because that image is like uh, it's top down a little. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so that is the eye. One more pass, and organizing and makes the uh, the structure more clear. Okay, now moving on to the nose. Uh, I think it's time, maybe a good time to give her a really visible uh, nose shape. Uh, that one looks quite nice here. So you see, I, I, I tend to go to these angles. I'm going to check things like that arc. Is that arc really? Uh, have the correct shape. So some people may have an arc like that, but I may tend to have an arc more like that instead. You have a sharper turn there instead of a, you know, a steep turn like that. Uh, of course, also the uh, the the lip has to be an arc too. Uh, most people end up with a point point like that or really flat. That's not correct. You want to give it uh, enough arc. But not too much. Okay, so let's keep doing that. I don't think she has a very visible uh, left line there, so just a little should be enough. 
even that seems too much. I'm tweaking the side of the nose, their location. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, it's it's pretty rounded somehow. Yeah, like that. That could be bigger. And uh, oftentimes people try to have this, you know, uh, this, you know, this uh, <laughs> big turn here or the, the point here. I don't see that quite open. What I see is uh, just the rounded shape. Okay, that's what I see, and that's what I will do. Okay. <laughs> So anatomy is a guideline, it's not always true to me. And I have another theory about anatomy, I think uh, a real good artist shouldn't, shouldn't need any anatomy knowledge to be able to do something like if uh, the artist have to do maybe uh, drawing an alien uh, he never see before, he should be able to do it too. Uh, without knowing the, the, the anatomy uh, because uh, everyone have eyes uh, they should be able to you know translate what they see into what they sculpt or draw without have to spend years of experiment or you know analyze to understand the anatomy first so I don't rely on it I understand it on some level Again, anatomy is something you can learn forever. <laughs> Every time when you do, you, you learn something new about it. But uh, I also believe my eye more than my knowledge of anatomy. Okay. Okay, so this is that. Ship. So I'm just refining, finding out the curvature of the lower uh, upper uh, upper lip. I think one of the interesting thing of the uh, mouse is uh, uh, this line here. This line here is not flat, so uh, the corner is going down a little. Flat. Okay. <laughs> Smooth that out. I'm gonna make the bottom lip more visible. It's just too strong. I'm wondering if it's bigger or more in the front than the bottom ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that means this one is like that, you know. So I'm gonna make it really strong and visible. Uh, okay. Let's make the jawline more clearer. Forget to do something for the, uh, the ear. <laughs> okay, let me give the ear some more detail too. So, again, just another pass going through the entire model and um, finding out what's working, what's not, fixing problems you see adding new detail, just repeat this process until you think, okay, I think I'm there. I think this character is what I want and that's when you stop and then start doing like retopologizing or maybe adding like details like pole and wrinkles 
to me uh, those things are should be pushed back uh, anyway so that's uh, uh, the second pass let me see the find another, find a, uh, another image uh, here okay I think I made, made the bottom one too small so let me let me make it bigger okay so one of the interesting thing about her is the eyebrow of her <laughs> I think that really is quite strong and it's really hard to sell the uh, or convincing me without that <laughs> so uh, sometimes it would be even uh, would be actually really nice to be able to draw that out although that's gonna be you know a fur or something later on but what you can do here is just use poly paint uh, here underneath the uh, poly paint uh, where is it here and enable colorized and uh, let's just use a standard brush and then uh, use a white color here first and then color fill object and then, and then use a darker color for the eyebrow oh, of course you want to uh, use RGB instead of Z-Add on the brush to be able to do that okay huh. okay now after drawing that I think my eyebrow is too high the distance should be closer to the eye so let me uh, mask the eye okay of course small sit and then maybe just drag the eyebrow down okay so most of the times I'm doing is this it's fixing relationship instead of you know doing more stuff on it because I know they're wrong I can discover they're wrong by gradually, uh, you know, look and evaluate. I think I made that one too heavy. And uh, the eyebrow should be more like this. Okay. All right. So let me go one more subdivision level higher. So go back to geometry and then uh, 256 Danimash Okay uh, This time let me go find a closer look of her and then let's try to do something again on the eye uh, I always start with the eye because it's the important part of the face uh, one of the most important thing, right? <laughs> So I always start with the eye, is something I do. But that's not something you have to do if you don't like doing that. Uh, and I think it could be beneficial to leave the eye later. That way you're focusing on other parts and relationships of those things because it's really easy to uh, you know, uh, uh, pay too much attention to the eye and lose the big picture. That happens to a lot of beginners. And the eye will end up very big too. <laughs> you know, the interesting thing is, uh, the more you focus on one thing, it actually becomes big, uh, bigger. That happens a lot in painting. So you focus on one thing, it just <laughs> it becomes bigger and bigger for some weird reason. So you don't want to pay too much attention there. Uh, like I think I make those uh, too big <laughs> already. <laughs> anyway, so here in this stage. Uh, you may want to, you know, make the eyelid super clear. That means you have uh, this face I'm masking now. That's the thickness of the eyelid. You want that to be there. Okay. And then you want uh, the front face. And you want that clear transition. Okay. Let me see. 
Uh, oh, so this little structure is needed to. Uh, some people have that as a different geometry. I will have that as a different geometry when I'm uh, retopologizing, because uh, 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 it's uh, it's not actually connected. It's being wrapped around like the eyeball is being wrapped uh, wrapped around uh, by the eyelid. They're not actually connected. What's interesting on her face is that she has this kind of makeup, you know, to you know make that really dark. Uh, the thing is really hard to do that in sculpting stage, so I'm gonna leave that later, maybe when I'm texturing. Uh, anyway. So, so set out. You know, this time you, you see I'm just doing more detail. But nothing really fancy here. I don't use fancy brushes or fancy techniques, masking techniques, polygroup techniques. No, none of those things. Because uh, that just feels like a, more like a, a distraction to me. But I know that they're helpful a lot uh, to some people. So I'm not op you know, opposed to that. I'm just, you know, that's not my ways of thinking here. Okay, so. You see now the, the structure, like you know, this line here I draw it, you know, to be really clear of you know what that is, where it is. Oops. I think uh, this one is smaller here. Location, shape, proportion, relationship, you know, those things all have to be considered. Uh, in order to get a nice result. Okay. I think it would be better to have a clear transition for the uh, the, the nose. So I'm using the edge polish to make that a flat plane, uh, flatten it out a little. So I'm just gradually having detail and it's going to be smoother too every time. Uh, uh, oh, so one little, one funny thing I found out is that this is really long, okay. I think mine is also long, but maybe not as long as the real person. So maybe I can just make the uh, uh, the upper lip uh, thinner. You never know if you forget something or didn't really recognize something in the process. lower lip. Let me just make that super strong. Uh, maybe too much over there. She looks unhappy. <laughs> anyway. Some little vents here and there, not really care for now. Uh, some struck to blend those things. Uh, 
uh, you can use uh, uh, a damn standard by holding down Alt to draw the contour of the lip. Um, of course, there is not a very sharp line. Uh, the sharpness is uh, defined by the color of the mouse. I think that's partially true because I see really strong highlights going there. So the anatomy I learned uh, clearly say that uh, there is no sharp line like this out there. But I intend to have them because that's what I feel uh, about the uh, character. Because you see that very strong highlight out there. <laughs> Maybe it's Photoshop, who knows. Uh, corner of the mouse is really uh, flat, I think, on her face. So you all learn that, you know, there's a little botch here. But it's definitely not on my character. <laughs> not very strong, at least. Okay. I feel she has some uh, uh, some extra tissue underneath the lip for some reason I don't know what that is let's just give it some down there too So uh, this is pretty much what I will go uh, as far as uh, you know the the designing uh, stage of the face, and uh, from here on I can do maybe one more pass if I have more time. If I don't, I will just go directly to retopologizing to get the, uh, a proper topology, and then uh, I can do more detail after that, after I have a uh, retopologized version that do have UV and stuff. So it's better to, or it's, it's just uh, easier to big map uh, after that. Okay, and so I guess that's it. Oh, one more thing, if you are interested in, you can uh, you really want to see the uh, you know the soul of the the character you're sculpting. I forget to do the ears again. <laughs> Let me do the ear. have a clear transition there, uh, maybe the back. I have no idea why I have a little hole there. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I wonder if it's gonna go to the other side. No, what's that thing? <laughs> interesting. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so oh yeah, so I, I was talking about a little thing. If you really want to see the you know the character. Uh, with the eye because the eye now is just a uh, you know a grayish color there is not really you're not really seeing the character you can uh, uh, go select the eye okay and then uh, give it a uh, 
a white color so let's go to the poly paint and then enable colorize okay now you can go to a darker color uh, I'll solo it okay now you can start uh, see if you want to tweak some of the stuff around the eye anyway so if you want to see the eyeball you can use the brush to draw that out to draw out uh, the Irish okay let me pick a, a grayish color in the middle to give it some transparency uh, to me it's more like just painting the eye manually okay and even paint some shadow there if you wanted to Uh, for the highlight though, uh, if you are, want to see the highlight, you can also just rely on a material. So you can change your material to uh, maybe uh, see uh, that one seems to have a really strong highlight. See that that one is weird. <laughs> maybe that one. Okay. If you choose that one, every, everything becomes that. So what you want to do is uh, go change your brushes uh, mode from RGB to material only. And then you want to start uh, painting the material on the uh, uh, on the Irish. Okay, and when that is done, if you switch material to other materials, you see that part is still that material. Okay, now you can see the beautiful highlight there. Uh, uh, if you don't quite like uh, the uh, highlight, uh, you can also go to material and maybe tweak it a little. Go to modifiers. Uh, I think that's beyond the range or the topic of, of today's tutorial. Uh, so specular curve, I think it's... Uh, oh, I'm, I'm taking that material, sorry. You go back to this one, uh, jelly bean, which is weird. So go to material and then let's tweak the uh, specular curve to make it, you know, thinner. And then also maybe um, can give diffuse more color, diffuse curve, so I can see more uh, stuff. Oh. Okay, and then go back uh, to the basic material. Oh, I think I controlled it too much. <laughs> Let me paint that material back on on the eye. Okay, and go back to basic material. So now I can see a really shiny highlight on the, in the eyeball that really, you know, gave you more character. Uh, let me paint that back. Although the material painting doesn't have smoothing for some reason, so you have to, you know, tolerance or you know, that weird uh, pixelated uh, color there, but not no big deal to me. Because this is not a real deal eventually, anyways, so I don't really care. Uh, all I need is, you know, it looks at least convincing enough to me. It's more like convincing myself, uh, you know, to sell this to myself. Uh, so as long as it works for me, it's, it's not for the, you know, other people to, to impress other people anyways. So yeah, so that's the sculpting of a human head. Uh, you see the whole process. If I drag this, uh, you know, oh, change that there. Uh, if I drag this uh, entire process from the beginning, see we start with the bow and we gradually refine the shape. Now all I'm thinking about here now is you know the proportion and you know block out the stuff. Keep tweaking, have the nose, mouth, keep tweaking. You see, every time I, I go through, I tweak the contour, the shape of the face, 
okay and I keep adding a new stuff when I have more resolution and I'm still tweaking the contour you see that tweaking it again you know again every time when I have a new pass to gradually refine the shape see so it does take multiple passes to eventually get here and I uh, know there are are a lot of things I can still tweak and gradually make it even better or at least more closer to the uh, uh, the character I'm doing um, but uh, I think uh, for tutorial purposes this is uh, good enough so uh, thanks for watching and uh, so all I need to do is bring your hat to this kind of level or closer or even more detailed if you wanted to, to go for that and the next class we will re re apologizing uh, do re-topologizing the, uh, the head. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you next time.